Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. Time for another update video on these Bosch washing machines that I'm stripping apart. This is the WFO 2865 UK model. And then over here, the one that I stripped apart the last time, WAE 2844A. That was a German one with the Aqua Stop. So as I'm taking it apart, I've noticed that there are some similarities and some differences. They both have the same drum or tub drum arrangement, but then there's loads of different things. For instance, the UK model has this overflow pipe that goes from the soap drawer into the door seal, which is a bit weird because the other one I don't think has that. The German one obviously has the aqua stop. I'll just try and make up a working one as best I can out of the two of them. But it'll be a bit of fun. I hope all the connectors are the same. The real reason that I was doing this was to get a smell of rubber, burning rubber whenever you run in the machine. So if we pick a point on the rim here, You can notice that it goes away from my finger there and then back over to the left again so it's out by a couple of millimeters and you know that could be a spider on the way out it could be any number of things so what's going to happen is that this tub and drum is going to be swapped out for the other one and that should make a good machine out of the two of them so we're almost back together but i just thought i'd have a look at some of the differences here so inside this is the old German tub inside, and you can see it's got a date of the 6th of December 2006. And over here in the English one, we've got the 1st of December 2003. So at least the tub in these machines is out by three years. So there's three years in the difference, the German one being newer and the English one being older. What I've noticed is that the German one had more plastic in the bottom of it. So it's got plastic drip trays on each side and a plastic base, whereas this English one had metal trays in the bottom of it. So a slight difference there in terms of the build quality and that kind of stuff. Also, the older English one has a big wide a big wide strut over the top here, whereas the uh, whereas the German one was a much narrower strut, about, about half the width. I don't know if there's any reason for that or not. The English one has a hose that went from here on the soap drawer down to the door seal, whereas the German one doesn't, it just terminates. It has the same kind of pattern. And I don't know if that was when it was filling, it was meant to throw a bit of water onto the door for some reason to bypass the soap drawer. What else? Also, slightly differently, the English one had more sound absorption material just inside the panels on the front here. There's some kind of uh, soft sponge material there, whereas the newer German one, three years newer, doesn't have that. So I'm going to continue to just finish putting it together and I'll give it a test wash. So now it's a bit of a Frankenstein washing machine. It's all back together again. It's a Bosch Excel 1400 Express WFO 2865UK-01 on the outside. Inside it's got the tub of the other washing machine, the WAE German model with the Aqua Stop. I've also replaced the soap drawer inside, but not the fascia. I had to swap the two out because I didn't have that little hose um, receiver in the, in the new door seal, so I couldn't put that on. Everything else I think is pretty much as it was. So if we think back to what the original issue was, the machine that was here, the WAE model, it kept filling and kept emptying at the same time, which was a bit weird. And one of the things I saw on the internet was that perhaps that was a fault with the temperature sensor or the element, that the element kept boiling or the temperature sensor thought that it kept boiling. So because of that, I thought I better swap out the elements and keep the element that I know is working and swap it out. And this is the one that I found in the German machine. It had a load of rust on the bottom and from the scuff marks that were around it, it looked like it had been replaced before, which was a bit weird. A lot of lime scale there. We're not in a hard water area here, but where it was in Germany before us had a lot of lime scale. So maybe this element was just knackered, something went wrong, or that temperature sensor went wrong. That's the temperature sensor just here. Like it's covered in lime scale, so maybe that was an issue. People keep asking me for washing machine washing videos, so this is as close as you're gonna to get to that because I can't I can't really be bothered to edit and put together a 30, 40, 50, four hour video of laundry, so I'll leave this on for a few minutes to satisfy some people. It seems to be going okay anyway, it certainly takes in the water and it's turning okay, which is the main bits of a washing machine. It's only on 30 degrees, so it'll only have to heat it up a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to proceed to keep cleaning out the, uh, or cleaning out, to strip the other washing machine for parts, the German one. And then I'm going to put it back together so that it can uh, have a brick smash it up.
And so there you have it, test washed okay. Great, I'm happy with that. So just to show you what I've got going on, I'm starting to put the other machine back together again. And round on the back, what I've done here is I've fitted that small pulley, I pulled off another washing machine motor onto the back of the drum. So I'm gonna see if I can find a way. It sticks out way too far, but I'm gonna see if I can find a way to get it wired up or belted up with the motor up on top. Just to see what happens if I can make a washing machine spin at some kind of ungodly speed. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.